and we're off and you shouldn't start with and but i kind of like it the saturday wrap for saturday the 7th of april 2021 and the sun is shining i don't know if it's beer of the week uh, but this is what i am drinking narwhal blonde bottled conditioned like that be careful about these 4.1 percent alcohol by volume it's a blonde ale quite bitter uh, and a citrus bitter finish really refreshing um, might have risen a little bit of the uh, the east brew down the road um hashtag low kale as camera would say i like it a lot it was a b plus plus anyway so this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 17th of April 2021 and it's me looking back still in Perda um, at the previous week and let's see if I can remember the app and the word of the week. Well there were a number of things we could have had for the word or phrase of the week. Um, frost because it's been frosty every morning this week high pressure weather so it's not moving nice mostly sunny days but no cloud and then overnight frostiness however not the actual word or phrase is caterpillar or maybe Cuthbert of the Caterpillar. I will come back to that later because the Twitters and the face bags are alive with it at the moment. And it's quite funny. And yeah, lots of things. Moving on to the app of the week. This is on uh, iOS and Android. It's also a website and it's topcashback.com. Actually, in this country, it's .co.uk, um, although it redirects to the UK version. Basically, sign up, follow the links, and you get cash back on stuff that you normally just buy. They're affiliate links, so that's how they make their money, and they hang on to it for a bit of time. But I've had well over a thousand pounds back from it. Um, there is no real catch. The only thing to watch out for is that you always pick the cheapest one first and then see if you get cash back. Doing the other way around doesn't always work. So, oh, look, they do cash back. I better buy it. And even with the cash back, it turns out to be more expensive. Don't get overexcited. Uh, anyone wants to sign up or wants to do me a favor, I can give you a link which gives me a couple of bob back. If not, just go to topcashback.co.uk, sign up. There's no real downsides. The only thing to watch out for is content blockers. If you use something like uBlock Origin, they don't always track. Just keep a record of it. Seven days later, go back to the site, raise a ticket, sort it. It's good. And as I said, there are mobile apps for it. So, yeah, the weather. Actually, looks out of window the sun is shining um the windows drop which is a big thing um but it is still a little bit chilly if you're in the shade it is chilly and as i said it's high pressure uh, and that has stopped me planting my seed potatoes the days are fine but the nights well yeah plus the fact i could do with some rain yeah, uh, put weed and feed on the uh, lawn last Friday while it was raining and it immediately stopped and some of the lawn is a bit scorched despite me throwing water all over it. Weather. You can't really trust it. Oh yeah, um, just a quick mention. This week, a year on, this is to absent friends. We miss you. Anyway, um films i can't remember if it was on prime or netflix and i think i've actually bought it it was one of those cheap chart jobbies apollo 18. it's a sci-fi horror film and they play and you and i by yes in it a bit slow to start but once it gets going it is really good if somewhat strange, they were reference the website, which 
they haven't renewed. Mind you, I think it's from about 2014. If you like sci-fi, and if you like horror, which I don't usually, um, but it is, it is good. Sunday morning, um, my strawberries, which I think I mentioned, uh, they were planted. And they don't really mind the frost, which is just as well. Um, they're in and they are growing and I am watering them frequently. Because another thing the weather is doing is the air is really dry. So if you're doing your washing, it's great drying weather. And that's the excitement of my life. Also, um, a couple of days this week has been a double hot water bottle on the dash day um, due to the low-tech nature of Marge, my car. And um, I've been bringing them home after work and using the water bottles to water the garden. Waste not, want not. Especially if you're on a water meter. And also this week in work, um, someone spotted someone putting some things in our grit locker. It turned out to be drugs. Police came down, investigated it sharpish. They think it's spice. Hmm, that's not very good. Um, I'm not keen on drugs or druggies. And I know you shouldn't call them that, but uh, there you go. Anyway, um, here's the thing about caterpillars. Marks and Spencers have a cake called Colin the Caterpillar. Surprisingly, it's a caterpillar. Aldi, as is they want, have a similar one called Cuthbert the Caterpillar. Marks and Spencers are suing Aldi. Um, Tesco's also have them. Uh, Morrison's have them. I think practically everyone has them. So why? Uh, M&S going after Aldi, probably because Aldi sell tons of them. However, I have the feeling that the only people who are going to make money out of this are the lawyers. Social media has gone absolutely crazy. There is the hashtag free Cuthbert. And this morning there was a tweet um, and on Facebook, um, the Cuthbert box now has prison bars on it. They really know how to do things. Mind you, it was similar with Brewdog. And then Brewdog did one of their beers and it's gone back and forth and such like. Mind you, talking of Brewdog, Cloudwater and various other small brewers are doing collabs. And the collabs are actually brewed by Brewdog and they will be in Tesco's by Monday. And some of their own beers including a non-alcoholic one, or is that the, I can't remember, that could be, yes, that's the collab one. Um, they're also being brewed by Brewdog in Scotland, I think because they have the capacity and they also have the links into Tesco's, so they will appear in Tesco's on Monday. So it will be stock up with fine ales on Monday in Tesco's. And um, some of the collaborators are from the BAME community. So, um, new brewers all round, and diversity. And according to our cloud water friends in Manchester, they're going to continue brewing what they always do, which are extremely fine craft ales. <laughs> ah, right. And completely off subject, URL shorteners like Tiny URL and Bitly, they're great. There is also something called a shady URL. It does nothing but turn a perfectly innocent URL into something that makes you look like a criminal. It works, and it's quite funny, and it's definitely not safe for work. That's www.shadyurl.com. Have a go. I did. I liked it. Anyway, moving on to Friday morning, um, as you know, for all mankind, uh, well, I'm not quite sure what time it comes out in the UK, um, uh, but somewhere in the world it comes out early because there are spoilers all over the place on Reddit. And I like Reddit, and I had to keep away from them. And I think I just about managed to do it, although most of them are tagged as spoilers, and if they're pictures, they are greyed out. But what an excellent episode. No spoilers here, by the way. 
Um, the series really is speeding up. Lots of twists and turns and relationships and non-relationships and science and politics and what a finish. What a finish. And talking about what a finish, Dogecoin um, went through 30 cents. Oh, wow. Uh, someone in work, um, he got them uh, down about four or five cents. He's really happy. They've fallen back a little bit today, but they're still over 20 cents to the moon, which ties in with For All Mankind, which is an Apple TV Plus show. And next Tuesday is the Apple April event, which I can't remember what it's called. Probably something to do with spring. Um, and it was leaked by Siri. I know Apple can be a bit pretentious and expensive, but their shows, especially the pre-recorded ones, which this will be a tech excellence, tech theater. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'll probably have some cloud water cola beers by that time if I haven't drunk them all. Mind you, week drinking last week, W double E K. I'm rather slow at it. I spent I'll go back to Tesco's and get some sandwiches as well, because that's a bit of a tradition. So, oh, what have I got going? Um, out in the garden, the Trangia, bioethanol, planting seed potatoes, burgers and bacon. And some vitamin D synthesized. Anyway, I'm going to post this now. Uh, if you like it, you know where the comments are. Um, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.